Empty your mind. Dispel all thoughts. Imagine yourself in a lush, green, rolling landscape. And you, you sit beneath a large, shady tree, looking out on a lake. The water is calm. Look up into the sky. Look. A small puffball cloud is drifting by. I want you to become that cloud, gently floating. Become the sky. Experience the freedom, the limitlessness of being the sky. Now, ask yourself this question. When was the last time someone told you, I love you? Was it today? Was it yesterday? Was it a week ago? Or was it longer? And were they telling the truth? Come on, this is silly. Get back in the car. Your father's sorry. You are sorry, aren't you? Get back in the fucking car! I feel like running her over. You don't mean that. Have some gum. It's juicy fruit. Do something. Hi, I'm Spud. Hi, Spud. Hey. 
You must be Candy. You must be Donna. I'm Donna Shook. Welcome to Adventures in Truth. Strangely, I'm allergic to human beings. Oh, it's funny, you know, about uh, names. <laughs> what do they mean? Scott. Some people call me Scott. A lot of people call me Scotty. It's a name that doesn't actually mean anything. It's just a signifier. I think names are really important. You know, you're right. Like candy. It's sweet. Sweetness. Spud. Potato. It comes from the earth. It's very grounded. Uh, rooted as well. Root vegetable. Mushable. What's your, what's your birth name, Spud? No, I don't really like my birth name. No, it's just I've got my mobile here, Donna. It's funny, isn't it? People feel threatened by a kind of loss of communication. However, I, I sort of think it's just like a, a symbiotic kind of gesture. It's Leslie. Leslie's a beautiful name. It contains the, the male and the female spirit. Yin and Yang. Yeah, what, what are you trying to say? I wasn't trying to say anything. Because, look, can I... I just want to get this straight with everyone. I'm not gay, OK? Yeah? Is there everyone straight on that? Because, you know, if I was gay, I'd just say, oh, I'm gay, but I'm... Yeah. So, just, Yeah? Hi. Hey. Oh. I don't have a mobile phone. All oh, right, very wise, very wise. I think that we sort of think that we're technologically advanced because we've got mobile phones, but I think actually um, it's quite a... Everyone, um, this is Mia. Hi. Hello. I work here for Donna. Donna has been very kind to me. I um, asked her if I may do this course with you this week, but it's important you all like me to be with you. I think what Mia's saying is that I've made a special dispensation to allow her to participate in the course, unless any of you has any objections. No, uh, no objections at all, Donna. I hope that you all treat her with respect and as an equal. remain confidential on this course. And, and to ensure that all truths remain confidential on this course. 
My heart is open. My lips are sealed. My heart, my heart is, is open. open. My, my lips, lips are, are sealed. sealed. I'm Donna Shook. Welcome to Adventures in Truth. Congratulations. Um, you may not realize it, but by being here, you have already made the first step. You're here because you've been underestimated, underprivileged, misunderstood. You have not been given the chance to realize your full potential. And why? Because you are all liars. Don't be ashamed. In the outside world, lying is an essential skill. But here, I'm going to be asking you to tell the truth. Not just some of the time. Not just most of the time. But all of the time. Here at Serenity Lodge, there is no need to present a false face to the world. Your true self is beautiful. I'm looking forward to meeting it. Amen. Well, this next might be a bit excruciating, but you know, just sort of breaks the ice and then we just move into there and get something to eat. Oh, no. nice. Felix, perhaps you'd like to share a truth. Uh, what do you mean? Just tell us something truthful. Um, it could be something quite simple. Well, uh. Well, I was just, uh. admiring Mia's earrings, eh? Candy? <clears throat> uh, yeah. They're really nice. So, if we started then? What about you, Martha? Anything? I disagree with the. Sorry, what's your name? Felix. I disagree with Felix. They hang too low. Mm hmm. Okay. They make her neck look. Yeah, go. Go ahead. Whatever. Just say. Well, kind of stumpy. No. No, I think they make look, uh, uh, very attractive. Well, I think they make her look more than very attractive. <laughs> Any advance on more than very attractive? Uh, I'm going to stop you there, Candy. It's important. No, it's essential that everyone realize that irony has no place in this room. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, when I was um, 14 Candy, years old. I'd like to hear your thoughts about this. Well, I just hope that this isn't going to be. Yeah, might be what, Candy? Might be veering towards, you know, New age mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo, oh, so, no, that, that's a bit racist, isn't it? Well, it's just a bit pejorative towards Africans. Oh, that's nigger, mate. <coughs> Actually, I think, um, nigger, um, it's been re-embraced by the black community as a self-empowering term. I think what I'm trying to say is I've only been here a few hours and already I feel out of sync. Good. It took a lot of courage to say that. Yeah. Every journey begins with a small step. Okay. Um, very, very good. Now, if you'd all like to make your way through to the dining room, Mia's prepared us a delicious light supper. Charming. Thanks, Charming. Sorry, Okay. Okay. I did have a bite to eat before, before I came up. Um, 
I know that you, at the moment, you feel out of sync, but uh, I think by the end of the week, I think you'll feel so in sync that, you know, you just won't believe it. It's okay to feel out of sync, Candy. You might have to be out of sync to be true to yourself. You much better than I could put it, Donna. So, um, you can't feel anything from the waist down? Maybe Candy doesn't want to talk about it. No, that's fine, Mia. Thanks. What's the difference between um, the paraplegic, quadriplegic? Uh, I know, well, quadriplegic, it must be four, yeah. Para is what, what was two. So you can't feel anything? No. How long have you been? I mean, were you born? I don't even know if disabled is the right word. It happened when I was 15. Uh, we all thought it'd be a good idea to jump off the hotel balcony into the swimming pool. But my heart wasn't really in it, so I missed. Sorry. It's just funny. It just struck me as a bit of a funny image, sir. I don't see what's funny about it. No, no, no offence intended or anything, but... Was it one of the Greek islands? You said my heart wasn't really in it. No. Can I get it? Candy, sweet dreams. You Silence is the violence, violence that you do to me. Silence is the violence that you do to me, dear. But you don't speak, cause you fear there will be tears. Is the violence? Yeah, old witching hour. That's good for inspiration. Did I leave the door open? I am so sorry. It must be a major undertaking, you know, getting into that thing. Best of times. Didn't notice many bar in my room. No, no, I brought it with me. I mean, help yourself if you're hungry. Oh, yeah. It's the kind of thing that you pick up on the road, you know, as a, as a musician. It's got advantages over the TV as well at a hotel room, you know. If, uh, if you need something to throw out the window, you don't have a TV. You can just throw that straight into the hotel pool. <laughs> so much lighter. Help yourself to some food. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, celery. Hmm. 
be honest, I'm more celery day. You could do me a favour, though, Candy. If you look behind the beers and uh, I think there's some dip. No. You sure? I think I know the difference between dip and no dip, Scott. Do you need a hand getting back into bed? Or um, I could... I, I Take just a few don't minutes, help thanks. OK. OK. Any time, you know where I am. Night. Nighty night. face-to-face -face with the insurance man. Um, the insurance man pumping up and down on my mother. He looked up and saw me standing in the doorway. Was he ashamed? No. <laughs> he just grinned at me. And that insurance man became my stepfather and my mother, my own mother, became his wife. And then I fell in love with the whole dot-com thing, you know, the magical mix of creativity and business and humanity and <clears throat> but well if i've learned one thing it's that you can have anything you dream and if not then you just have to change your dream but you said your company went bankrupt yes but i was a dot-com millionaire and they can't take that away from me but they did didn't they when i was 14 years old. Um, um Scott, um, I think Mia has something she'd like to share. No, 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 I, I don't. No, no, uh, I think it's Scott wants it. I'm just concerned, Mia, that you don't find yourself in a position of an observer. You know, um, you're an equal, okay, to everyone in this room. So I want you to take full advantage of that. I think Mia should do whatever she feels comfortable with. Silence can be a comfortable place, Candy, but it can also be a windowless room in a house without doors. I don't know where to start. Start at the beginning? I don't know where the beginning is. Why don't you tell us your home is in Bosnia? My home is in Bosnia. So, are you, are you an asylum seeker? Or, or are you here on a kind of working holiday? Or? I lost all my family in the war. So, did you see them actually killed? Is that really necessary, Blossom? It's an honest question. I think everyone was thinking it. Well, I certainly wasn't. I wasn't thinking it either. No, I wasn't. Really? I know this is painful for you, Mia, but please, try to continue. My father was prisoner in Omarska. Every day, they make him run in the line from the metal shed where he sleeps. All the time, the machine gun points at him. They make him line up for his food. Always bean soup. 
they gave him exactly three minutes to run from the shed, wait for the food, eat, and run back to the shed. The soup was always boiling hot, so they all had inside burns. If you did not make it, you, you were beaten or killed. So presumably he didn't make it. Every day he gets weaker. One day, no. Well done, Mia. Um, Candy, what's your truth? Why don't you go fuck yourself, Donna? Uh-huh, okay. <clears throat> um, I've told some of you that um, I'm a nurse, which is true, but I don't regard nurse. Can you just shut up, Blossom? Mia, are you okay? As I was saying, um, I don't regard nursing as my true vocation. Um, I'm also a freelance dominatrix. Mm. It's something I've come to because I feel that I have a natural ability. You must work really long hours. It's, it's not easy. So do you uh, specialise in any particular area? You know, the dominatrix side? Well, obviously it's all strictly confidential, but for example, I do have um, one client who pays to drink my urine. I've heard about the piss thing. It's a bit more complex than a piss thing. Can we just backtrack here? Um, this client actually drinks your urine? Yes, from a baby's bottle, actually. It seems a bit unhygienic. No, I sterilise all the bottles. Yeah, apparently I think um, urine is the most sterile fluid in the human body. Oh, yeah, that's correct, but it's the most. Why are you doing this, Blossom? Uh, for the money and... Job satisfaction. No, why are you talking about drink and piss after what Mia's just told us? Uh, actually, I, I find, I think you're all being quite insensitive because, you know, I've got my own pain, you know. If only you'd be prepared to listen. I have a strong sense that you have more to say, Blossom. This is a circle of trust. I would like to say um, sorry to a man called Michael Thompson. Um, what happened to him was really every dominatrix worst nightmare and um, it's taken its toll on me uh, emotionally. I've always considered myself to be a very careful, uh, very careful, conscientious dominatrix. But Michael liked to be heavily restrained uh, during our sessions. Um, I left him dangling while I went to make the coffee. And when I came back, um, he'd stopped breathing. Obviously, I tried mouth-to-mouth -mouth, uh, cardiac massage, but it was too late. When... I realised that Michael was dead. I um, called my boyfriend, who came round, um, saw the situation, and suggested we cut Michael up with a saw and dispose of him. So we did. We fed some of the remains of his body to local stray dogs and um, put the rest of him in, I think it was eight or nine, not really important, but I think it was nine bin liners and dumped him. No, he did. That's the last I saw of Michael. And I desperately want to reach out and find his family because I know how hard it is to lose someone because I lost Michael too. So 
how come we didn't read about that, though, in any of the papers? I think I did read something about it. No, no. It wasn't in the papers. We weren't caught. Michael was never found. Were you, were you sort of really close to him? Yeah, really close to him. Yeah. But only on a professional basis. Uh, I, I can understand how it feels to lose somebody, Blossom. So you chopped him up only on a professional basis? When I was 14. I'm sorry if my truth doesn't quite measure up. I mean, not all of us can grow up in a war zone. Um, right, if anybody needs me, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just be back in the leper colony. All right? So you've got your top feeders, your middle feeders, and your bottom feeders. And um, this, this guy's a dead middle feeder. Donna, uh, can I have a private word? We don't have private words here, Candy. Um, I've decided that I want to leave. I'm afraid that's not possible, Candy. When you came on this course, you made a commitment. You also took an oath. Well, I think it'd be best for everyone if I just be allowed to leave. You shouldn't worry about what's best for everyone, you know? Um, that's what I'm paid for, okay? You came here for a reason, yeah? I know you think I'm asking a lot of you, but I think you're capable. Candy, it's funny because, listen, I, I was a lot like you, yeah. I mean, not in a wheelchair, but if you'd have seen me four years ago, well, you would have seen somebody who was insecure, um, hostile, um, you know, I was a loser. Donna changed me. She can change you too. This is a magical place. A magical place with wheelchair access? No, I mean, it's not got a chairlift or anything like that, but, but apart from that, yes. Yes, it is. So, mm, the bottom feeders, they agree to each other? Uh, um, Donald? Not at all, Blossom. The, the other's ex-group. Oh, hence the term bottom, bottom feeders. feeders. Mm -hmm. Felix. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just got a bit emotional, you know, about what you said back there. Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. So you're not angry with me then? Why would I be angry with you? Go for the meeting, you know. I can't imagine what you would have gone through. I don't like to talk about it. Maybe you should talk about it. I just want you to hold me. Hold you. Deeper. You see before you a golden chalice. Look closer. It is full to the brim of a most fabulous liquid. 
pick up that chalice and bring it to your lips. Drink. Drink deeply. Drink from the chalice of truth. And when you are full of it, it is your turn to speak. Candy, are you standing? What is your truth? My truth? That's my truth. Candy, that you, you've smashed the candle of truth. So, being in a wheelchair gives you carte blanche to steamroller over everyone's emotions, does it? The truth is, bless him. Either you are a liar, or you don't care about that man. You chopped up. Well, I actually find that very hurtful, Mia, and that man has a name, although I suppose it's nothing to you. I don't think uh, Mia's got a point there, Blossom. I mean, I was with you all the way up to the bin bag bit, but, I mean, come on. Feeding him to some stray dogs is kind of gilding a little. No, no, I think, Mia, uh, you, I think you are out of order here, because I think, you know, we've, we've got to be able to express our feelings freely without the fear of being judged. Otherwise, yeah. you, everything that we do here is superb. Well, that's okay, but let's... Um, let's hear what Mia has to say. If you're really sorry for what you did, you should find that man's family and beg them to forgive you. Oh, but then you'd have to deal with the consequences. Fuck you. Look, this, this isn't about closure, guys. It's about opening up all the possibilities. But you try really hard to be nice. But you know nothing about the truth. Donna is very happy that you come on this course again and again. You give her 650 pounds when really you should just stand up and say, I am a poodle. If a poodle stood up, that would have to be a trained poodle. I don't regret a penny I've spent on this course, OK? And I'm not a poodle, trained or otherwise. Well done, Spud. Yeah, well done, Spud. You know, Donna, you pretend to love these people, but you don't even like them. And you think, I don't see the way you look at me. You think, I don't know when you come and stand outside my tent in the night. Um, what I'm interested in, Mia, is why you, of all people, feel so strongly about Blossom's tragic story? Um, why do you think that is? You know damn well why, you fucking witch! I, I, I'd like to hear Mia express what she's going through on this particular subject. Yeah, I'm sure you do, Donna. I am sensing a lot of pain coming from Mia, but there are five or six other people in this room who have not had a fair crack of the whip. I, I, I just think, it, it, you know, it's only fair that we should all get... A... Scott, just say... I want, I want crack of the whip. It's easy, isn't it? If you stop pretending, you, you'd be a better person. And maybe even a better musician. Uh, uh, a lot of people like my music. Uh, no, Scott, they don't. Does anyone here like Scott's music? <laughs> oh, come on, mate, face it. Bed wet is music, innit? Um, so, Paul Simon, Neil Young, uh, Bob Dylan, Ralph McTell, did, did they all wet the bed, did they? That's what you're saying. Who the fuck's Ralph McTell? The other night, I saw Scott and Ken. Help. You've been out for hours. We've all been so worried about you. How's your head? How's Mia? You look like you could use some apple pie. Mm, that smells delicious, Donna. Maybe we should save a piece for Mia. 
Yeah, I want some pasta. You can come up with ten and get it. Oh, I might get a bit emotional there. Yeah, I do got something for charity. I love your sandals, Donna. Thank you. I haven't seen that design before. How long has she been in her temper? They really compliment your toe ring. Maybe I could try them on. Um, I don't tend to shift footwear, Martha. The Native Americans believe that our shoes are part of our journey. Yeah, plus there's the fungal thing. Um, if you don't want that poem, can you? I think I'll bring it out to Mia. This is a total betrayal of everything we've been striving for. I can't understand it. I just can't understand it. Yeah, I mean, why would she do a runner? She's only been kicked, beaten, strangled. You OK, Donna? I'm afraid, and obviously, I will refund each of you a proportionate sum at the end of this course, but this does mean that I will have to draw up a communal cleaning rota. Oh, um, did, did that, me, it, just my eczema is, is quite bad. I want you to let it out. For both of us. No, not here. Where then? Down to 60. No cheating. This is private property. No one comes onto my land. I'll come on any land I want. I'm here to claim your right to roam. Aren't you supposed to say for what I'm supposed to say?
You'd want to vomit. I do want to vomit. I'll get a bucket. You feel let down by Mia, don't you? No, not really. You know, you... You were depending on her. You know, like you always depend on other people. You know, and, and now you're gonna call up your mom and dad and beg them to take you home and, you know, of course they will. You know, they always do. I don't know, maybe you should make that call. Maybe the others are right. What do you mean, uh, the others? They don't think you're strong enough to, to look into yourself. And now I'm not so sure either. You expect me to believe that? What is it you really want? What does this girl in a wheelchair really want most in the world? What is it you want to say, sweetie? I think we should leave now. Let's leave this place. Let's not do anything out of the ordinary. You are standing at the top of a grassy hill. It is a bright, moonlit night. You can hear owls hooting, the wind gently rustling the trees. The air is sweetly scented with pine, and below you, a beautiful cornfield stretching out as far as your eyes can see. Now, run. Run downhill. The slope is steep. Your legs can barely keep up with you. You are at the limit of your physical being. Run into the cornfield. The corn is waist high. It embraces you. You have never felt happier. You are free. And you are safe. Now come gently back into the room. I feel certain that someone in this room has something to say. Anybody? 
I think if uh, Candy wants to leave, I think she should be able to leave. Oh, thanks, but um, I've changed my mind. Last night you said, you asked me what does a girl in a wheelchair really want. I didn't answer it. It's a question I don't want to answer. That's why I'm here. Wow, that means so much to me, you saying that. I, I can't tell you. Well done, brilliant. Self-indulgent crap. No, no. What I'm trying to say is, um, when I found out Mia had done a runner, I, I didn't want to stay. But now I feel differently because... Look, Candy, all I've got from you from the kickoff really is a, a distinct lack of commitment. And I'm not the only one here. She's harming everyone's growth. Felix, um, perhaps you can explain yourself? Everyone here is giving at least 110%. Now, for me, I've come to deal with some very deep, personal stuff. Frankly, Candy, she's not helping. Mm, OK, good. Thanks, Felix. Um... I think Candy should be made to leave. I, t I can't believe I'm hearing this. Scott, what about you? Come on, mate. Trying to get a word in edgeways for three days now. Now's your chance. Tell us, tell us what you think. Uh, I, I, I don't know. She accused you of looking at her breasts. That was Mia. What's about this guy, eh? Every time you look at him, you just want to kick his face Felix, in. Felix, look, that's out of order. It's not about physical demolition. It's much more spiritual than that. OK, then let's put it to a vote. I'm afraid I can't allow this group to descend into an emotional democracy. OK, I'm voting for Candy to leave. What about everyone else? Candy, uh, presume you're voting for yourself. <sighs> Donna, I think I know where you stand. Spod? This is an appalling travestation. So, looks like it goes to the most important man in the room. Bearing in mind she's not remotely interested in what happened to you when you were 14 years old. Four to three. Motion carried. Um, Candy? Yeah, right. Empty your mind. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Candy, but I will have to put that on your bill at the end of the week. Well, can someone help me upstairs, please? experiencing some pain. I was just looking for mushrooms, and there she was. She looks so peaceful for someone who's just been strangled. So she was strangled. <laughs> this is a terrible, terrible thing. No, bless him. Don't move her. The police will want everything untouched. 
This is all my fault. I've let you all down. I, I'm so sorry. Donna. I'm gonna go to the Donna. house. I'm gonna go call the police. I can't let you do that, Donna. If you do that, that'll be the end of everything. Now, listen, Mia might be dead, but you'd be killing the truth. I don't know, Spud. This... This puts everything to one side. No, listen. You would be doing more harm than good. Think. I mean, look, the truth is not just about us. It's about everyone who will come here in the future. Who are we to deny them this experience? Maybe the truth can help us. Blossom. Did you kill her? No. Spud. No. 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 What about you, Donna? Did you kill her? No. Did you? If we're ever going to tell the real truth, Felix, it's got to be now. I never laid a finger on her. So? It looks like we're all telling the truth, doesn't it? This might sound insensitive, but I don't think we can rule Candy out of the equation. There's no way Candy could have done this. I don't think we can assume anything. Take a look, Scott. There's not much in the way of wheelchair access, is there? I mean, look at that slope. It's got to be at least, what, one in three? A lot of people underestimate Candy. She can turn that thing on a sixpence. And if you ask me, that's no more than a one in five. So, uh, you're an expert on elevations all of a sudden, are you? What do you know about wheelchairs? Perhaps you'd like to spend some time in one, mate. I don't think Mia would want to hear this. Fuck you! Fuck, me. Fuck you, you're dead! Please. Not an elevations gradient. This is more than a murder. This is a cry for help. One of us here is crying out for help. We might find comfort in knowing that the Chinese word for crisis, Wei Qi, has two danger and opportunity. So, are we going to the police? We have to think about what's best for Mia. The police aren't interested in the truth. What do the police know about spirituality or love? Or a cry for help. They'll want an autopsy. They'll defile her. They'll take her apart, and they'll stick her back together again. And what will that tell them? Nothing. Nothing that matters, anyway. So what are we going to do about Candy? Maybe it is better if you leave. Give me a minute and I'll go call your parents. Well, you're probably right about the one in five. Well, I know about big news.
You're all right, Spot. Assuming it's a he, I, I have to say without any disrespect to you, Kelly, you are being ruled out because of your disability, and that is disrespecting you. Candy. Um, you know, uh, Candy, in some ways, we've all been rather insensitive to you. I, for one, um, you were more of a friend to me than we were. Yeah. She was your friend. How do you feel, Candy? I don't, I... I think what's happening here is that we've decided that, yeah, it's a terrible thing, isn't it, that, that's happened, but, but it's more than a murder, it's a cry for help. Shut up, Spot. Well, I'm just saying why we're not going to the police. What it boils down to is this. You're either going to help us answer the cry for help or not. And if not, then you might as well join me out there in the woods. Um, we're not here to make violent threats to one another. Um, we're here to make good or wrong. Remember that. Okay. It's okay to feel terrified, Candy. Um, we're all terrified. We think what we're afraid of is what's to come, but what we're really afraid of is letting go of the past. I'm not terrified. It's about trust, Candy. A lot of people here feel that you've never really shared your truth. There's a Zen saying, Burn down your house. Burn it down. Then you can see your true home. Well, why the heck do I do that? Um, can anyone here help Candy? Um. Oh. Uh... Set fire to a wheelchair. It's a little bit more metaphorical than that, Spud. Take away a wheelchair, perhaps. Good. Yes. Help us, Candy. What does a girl in a wheelchair really want? Tell us what you want.
thinking what it must be like to feel a person's life drain away at your fingertips. Most people never have to face the fact that at the right time, right place, they're capable of anything. I can't imagine how your wife would feel about this. She'd be clueless. Maybe you should leave her. Maybe you should try and persuade me. Maybe I will. Maybe you haven't got a ball. Maybe you don't know me as well as you think you know me. Maybe I know you better than you know yourself. Someone here is not telling the truth. And until they do, we can't go on. There is no step forward for any of us. Can I speak without the cushion? Deep down, we know who that someone is. Now, come on, Felix, come on. Come on, you've got the cushion. Yes, bud. I have got the cushion. I mean, I've got something to confess. See, the truth is... I am an insurance salesman. Don't take the piss. That's Blossom's job. No, honestly, I do. I sell insurance. I was going to tell you earlier, but I didn't fancy waking up dead in the woods. Not after that little last governing speech of yours. What you think... What you think, because I've got complex issues that I hate all insurance salesmen. I'm not insurance man. He became my daddy. You put your hands around that girl's throat and you squeezed the life out of her, didn't you, huh? You. There's no words for what you are. Yeah. He was dead right about you. You're a dickless little therapy boy and you're looking for a substitute tit. Please don't! I don't think you realise how difficult it is for Felix to express himself. Shut the fuck up, you, Marth. I don't need you to speak for me. And here's the truth. You're a doormat, and I'm sick of wiping my feet on you. Oh, can, can someone help me up, please? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did it. I killed her. Scott, try and eat something. 
To be honest, I don't have much of an appetite at the moment. I know, but you must keep your strength up. I think I'm going to go on a fast out of respect for me. Making Martha. It's a dream catcher, obviously. Do you want me to order the other end for A dream catcher is a very personal gesture, Felix. I just want to give me the funeral she would have wanted. Why don't you depedal these? <laughs> don't cut from the middle candy, start from the edge. That way you waste less dough. If they find me, they're going to identify you. And it's a fingerprints. Are you suggesting that we rip out her teeth and cut her fingers off? Because if you are, it will completely ruin the spiritual aspect of this whole thing. OK. So let's just uh, cut her up, eh? And feed it to a pack of stray dogs. Don't you understand, Felix, that we're all feeling incredibly raw? So what are you really hungry for? You'd best be careful. Wouldn't want to make Martha jealous there, would you? How'd you like to go get something decent to eat? Decent? Of course, I can't fight for how decent it might be. See Felix again. I like that. What a bunch of fucking assholes those people really are. So, what do you reckon? Sensitive soul soldiers. Fucking plenty of army. 
I've learned a lot from those people. You're clever, aren't you? Happy days. What is it? It's a rabbit. But it's not dead. Blood on my hands. It's fine. It's horrible, but it's fine. Can I ask you something? I'm not going to be It's up on me like it knew, you know. It was a tiny little thing. about this one, you? I thought you... I thought you wanted to get out of here. Don't you think that would be a bit of a betrayal?
She's upset. Please. She's no. upset. We've just hit a rabbit on the road. No. I'm a relative. No. No. Listen, please, please, you've got to listen to me. Candy, they want to kill down. me because I'm the only one who wants to tell anyone about Candy, candy. there's nobody please. in the woods. Yes. Please, oh, whoa. please help Steady, me. Please. Please. It's been a long day. Please. Kept please. it out too long. Please, please, please. She's way past please. the medication. No, I don't need medication. Please. She does seem very upset. The, the jungle's a girl in the woods. Okay, she's fine, honest. I mean, she'll be much better when we get back to her more familiar surroundings. Uh, where are you staying? No, we're staying in the institution no. up the road. It's about a mile or two. Oh, please, oh I see. Please. Just I'm not an idiot, please. Please you listen to me. I, I think please. I know like that. I say, no. she's going to be fine when she gets no, to her no, more no, familiar no, 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 surroundings. No, listen. listen, there's a girl. She's dead. They're going to kill me. Are you sure she's, she's going to be okay? She's going to be fine, honest. She does this yeah, all the time. I've had her out too long. Right. It does seem very upset. She's fine, well, look, it, it is getting rather late, and I was um, hoping to get my head down. Please, 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 I understand. Well, I, I hope she'll be OK. That's my concern. Cheers. I like her. Don't go, please. Yeah. Enjoy your holiday. Thank you. Try them on. I think they'd really sink you. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Felix, what's going on? I thought we'd catch a sunset. Didn't we, Candy?
so beautiful. As we release Mia into her new life, does anyone have a final truth they wish to share? I'd like to say a few words about Michael, if that's OK. So he's Michael. He's a magical dog. <laughs> Mia has helped me understand that Michael's death was for a reason. Michael was a pervert and I'm not going to be like him. I've found the love of a good man and I can rise above Michael and the sickness he represents. I know what you're thinking, Candy. You know, don't you? You've always known. Look. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I just, oh, yeah, I just. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. I, 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 sorry I, just, I just want to say that all my life I've lived without love. And I, I can't remember my mother hugging me not once. For a long time, I, uh... Spud, you are a homosexual. Yes, Donna. I'm a homosexual. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and in the short time that I've known you, Scott, I, um... Well, I... I de I've developed feelings for you. Um... And now I understand that you can't ever have the same feelings for me. But I still wish you and Blossom all the best in your future happiness together. Thank you. That means a lot. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you, mate. Um, and obviously, if, uh, um, if I were that way inclined, then you'd definitely be on my radar. I'd... I'd like to personally thank Mia. Because I came here as half a person. And she helped me become whole. I know now that I love Felix. More than he'll ever know. But I've also realized, if I'm to remain a whole person, there's no room for him in my life. So thank you, Mia. I'm not going to be a doormat anymore. Um, Candy. Um, I'd like to say thank you, Mia. I didn't know you a long time, but I think of you as a friend.
Felix, um, I, I have a deep feeling something is troubling. No, Donna. Nothing at all. There's a reason to be here, and there's a reason to go when we have completed the tasks of life's work. Behold a girl full of dreams and hope. Her journey has ended, and a new one has begun. We didn't thank you, Mia, when you asked us to look into our hearts, but we thank you now. Thank you, Mia. Stop the boat, please. Got an important truth for us to share. As a man, I never acknowledge my weaknesses, my fears. As a child, my dad would beat me if he ever if you ever saw a hint of a tear. I wasn't even allowed to cry at my grand's funeral. But I'm not ashamed to say now that... I've cried for Mia every day. She's unleashed. It's OK, Pete. Let it out. Let it out. She's unleashed something in me. I'll never forget face as long as I live. It's okay, baby. Let it out. Wait a minute. Uh, we forgot Candy's cookies. No, Donna, I haven't forgotten anything. See, I haven't told you the whole truth about last night. Or at least Candy hasn't. See, the thing about Candy is... 
Give her half the chance, she'll destroy everything we've strived for in these precious days. Candy. That's not true. What can I say? Last night she tried to escape. Her heart's not open. And her lips are a long, long way from being sealed. He's lying. I'm up. She even went for me with this. Candy. Everyone here has given their everything. They've told their truth. But you, Candy, you have not. What's your truth, Candy? I don't know! You do know! I Just say it! I don't know what you want me to say! What's your truth? I reckon she won't be needing that wheelchair much longer. Hopefully. Positively. Wonderful kind you've made so many friends. Well, you know, it's wonderful that we've all made a friend of Candy. Oh, thanks, boss. Leslie. Sorry, Leslie. Okay. Uh, yeah, thanks. Okay. We'll see you later. Take care. And you. I can't 
believe it. Did you really walk? Is it true? In all honesty, Mom, why would I lie about something like that? I'm not very good at this, but I love you, Pumpkin. I love you too, Dad. We owe you so much. You owe me nothing. Um, there's a Zen saying, when the pupil is ready, the teacher will appear. Oh! 